Here's what's making news on Roadshow. Your phone's battery doesn't live forever, so why would your electric cars be any different? According to warranty info recently published online, Chevy's Bolt EV may lose between 10 and 40% of its battery capacity over its eight-year warranty period depending on use. That kind of degradation is unlikely, as both internal testing and owners of other battery-powered Chevys have shown very few problems, but it's something to keep in mind. The Mustang Shelby GT350R is pretty hardcore, but Ford's new FP350S takes things to a whole nother level. The FP is a track-only race car destined to compete in Trans Am, SCCA, and NASA series. It packs the same 5.2 liter V8 as the road cars, but it's also loaded with all the safety equipment required of a proper race car, as well as reinforced brakes and suspension components. Giddy up. You can now develop, test, and buy a self-driving car in the state of Michigan, or at least you can as soon as one's available. Governor Rick Snyder just signed a series of bills into law regarding the regulation and testing of full self-driving cars. Autonomous vehicles without any driver controls can now be legally tested on Michigan roads, and automakers and tech companies now have the ability to set up autonomous ride-sharing services. This is the most comprehensive and least restrictive set of regulations of any U.S. state to date, and that means a Google Gumdrop car could soon appear inside a bus-sized Detroit pothole near you. Find more on these stories over at theroadshow.com. We'll talk to you on Monday.